Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, oh, I'm so excited for this video today. I do yoga every single morning. Always yoga with Adrienne. She's got a million videos, millions of subscribers. I love her videos and I just love doing yoga. So today's workout is stretch and strengthen. So we are doing a kind of a combination of some yoga inspired moves that also strengthen and tone your body. So very excited for this video, very excited for this workout. And if you are too, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss any of my other workouts. I post new ones every single Monday. Let's get into the workout. into this 25 minute workout. Let's get started with the first exercise. We're doing plank lunge around the world. One, good, you're gonna step up with your right leg. We're staying on the right leg the whole time. Reach up toward the ceiling, all the way to the back of the room. Back forward and down. Now if you're doing this on your knees, you can bring one knee up and do that same motion. We're here for 40 seconds, good. Stay on that same leg, abs tight. Really focus on that stretch. Good, you got it. And rest. In between these, if you want, you can come into a child's pose. Stretch it out, we're moving to the left leg next. Good, come up, get ready. Go, left leg. Good, really use your abs to lift that leg, bring it back into that plank, and then use them to bring it back up. It's okay if you don't make it there in one step. You can scoot your feet forward as you need to. You can take a couple steps. Good, and rest. We're going back to the right leg now. Good, back up, back to that right side. Remember to breathe. This workout is not intended to be high intensity. It's not about how many reps you can bang out, it's the quality of each rep. You're breathing, you're stretching, you're strengthening. Good. Take some pressure off those shoulders. Back to the left leg. Three seconds, get ready. And go. Remember to use your abs. Remember to breathe. Remember to enjoy each stretch, each rep. Good, and rest.
Good, bear crawl kick through. Knees hover above the ground. You're kicking through, back to the center. You can lift that arm if you want to, up overhead. Give it a good stretch. Make sure you come back to that bear crawl each time. Good, work your way into feeling more comfortable with this one. And rest. Good, we're going again in three. Two, one, go. Good, keep your abs tight. I know that your shoulders are burning and your abs are working. Probably your quads too, you got it. We're here for five more seconds. And rest. Good, push up to downward dog. Now you can modify by pushing up onto your knees, going onto your toes for the downward dog. Good, breathe out when you push up. Breathe out when you go into the stretch. Make sure you really enjoy that stretch. You don't have to go right into the lay down push up again. Just keep your abs tight, stiff as a board when you come up. Pedal out that downward dog if you want to. Give your calf a good stretch and rest. Good, we're gonna do it again. Three seconds, get ready. Back to your stomach. Go, press up and downward dog. Feel the stretch in your shoulders, the backs of your legs. Keep your abs tight. Really enjoy that downward dog. And rest. Good. All right, we start with our left leg. So you're gonna step up with the right, kick through the left, back down, back down. To modify, step up with your right, step up with your left, stretch towards the sky, back and back. You got it. We're not completely sitting down at the top. You're still hovering. Remember to breathe through it. Use your abs to pull your knees back in. Back up. You got it. And rest. Good. Come off those arms. We're moving to the other leg next. Good. Get ready. Step up with your left. Kick through with your right. Back and back, good. Modify how you need to. Just 
should feel good. A little bit challenging, but it also feels good. Got five seconds. And rest, good. Child's pose, come off your shoulders. All right, we're back to the right side. Step up with the right, kick through, stretch towards the ceiling, and back. Abs tight. And breathe. You can always add yoga blocks under your hands. If you have trouble getting your legs up and in, good, and rest. Back to child's pose, we're going back to the other leg. Next exercise gives us a break from the shoulders. Don't worry. Good, three seconds, back up. Go, step up with the left, kick through with the right, back and back, abs tight. Don't get frustrated with this movement. Remember the modification I gave you. Step up, step up, and reach. And then back. You got it. Five seconds. And rest. Good, stand up this time. Shake your arms out. All right, left foot forward, right foot pointed the opposite direction. Triangle pose. You're gonna stretch down, fingertips reaching up, right fingertips reaching down. And you're gonna come back to center. Keep your abs nice and tight. You're not coming down here and leaning on, whoo, I'm gonna fall, leaning on your leg. You're just reaching toward the ground back up using your core, using your abs to bring you down nice and gently. Feel that stretch. You can reach even a little bit behind you if you want. And using your core to come back up. Good. And rest. We're going to the other side. Left toe out that way. Right toe forward. Get ready. Three, two, one. Go. Using your abs to slowly lower using your abs to bring you back up. It's okay if you lose your balance. Give yourself a nice good base. Press through the outer edge of your right foot and through your left toes. You got it. Core tight. If you can't quite go all the way down flexibility wise, don't do it and don't worry about it. You can stop here and go right back up. And rest. Good. All right, back to the right. Left toes forward, right 90 degrees. Get ready. Three seconds. Two, one, and go. Using your core and using your core to come right back up. Good, five seconds. And rest. Ooh, not a high intensity workout, but I can feel my pores opening up. Start a sweat. 
Right toes forward, left out 90 degrees. Let's go. Three, two, one, and down. Use your core. And don't forget to breathe. And rest. Good. Up into your plank. You're going to bring your leg up. Come up to a high lunge. Or on the right leg. Back down. Back into your plank. Modify. Bring your right leg up, left knee down, then rise up. Back down, lift your knee, back to that plank. Good. Squeeze your legs together for balance. Keep your core tight. Feel that stretch in your hip flexor when you come up. And breathe. And rest. Good. Go ahead, come down into a child's pose. We'll move to the left leg next. Good. Back up. Up at the left leg. Squeeze your legs together. Come up. Breathe. And lower. Another modification, you can bring your hands to your hips. If overhead doesn't work for you, and back into that plank, good. Good, go ahead, bring it down to rest. We're moving back to the right leg next. Good, we're up in two, one, go. Right leg up, reach, stretch, breathe, and back down. Good, and rest. Good, left leg next. So we only have one last exercise, you got it. Back up. Good. Breathe. Use your core. Good. And rest. Good. We're starting with the right hand, left leg, come up, slide them out, 90 degrees with your leg, 90 degrees with your arm, back out, 
and you can come back down to rest. Good. Make sure you really use that left hand, the right foot to stabilize yourself. Spread your fingers wide, press them into the mat, and press the top of your foot into the mat as well. To modify, you can eliminate the slide. Woo. Bird dogs are great for your core, your back, your balance. All right, back up, we're going to the other side. Good, left arm, right leg. They come to 90 degrees. Back out and down. Don't forget about your stabilizing hand, your stabilizing foot. Use your core. Use your core when you lift to balance, to really draw your knee up and in, your elbow up and back, and back down. Good, rest. One more each side, you got it. Little over a minute left to work here. You can do it. Good. Right hand, left leg comes up, slide them in, back out, and back down. Good. Always keep your foot flexed here too. Being in gymnastics has taught me to always point my toe when I lift, but a lot of times having a flexed foot keeps the awareness in your foot, helps balance, helps sensation. Good. All right, get ready. Last 40 seconds of work. You guys made it through the whole workout. Let's go, three seconds, get ready. Left hand, right leg, up. Down, good. Good, take it slow. Use your core. Feel your muscles shaking, getting stronger. You gotta break down to build up, you got it. Good, finish out your last one if you're in the middle. You got it. And down, good job. Good, you can hop down, stay in child's pose. You don't have to look at the screen. Give yourself a little bit of rest. Breathe through it, breathe through your shoulders. We did a lot of shoulder work today. We did a lot of quad work today. A lot of balance core, so stretch it out. Chill out. Thank you so much for doing this workout with me today. I post new workouts every single week, so I will see you in a week. Bye.